overall goal of this experiment is to isolate single cells from early stage zebrafish embryos for their capture in a microfluidic based single cell multiplex system to assess the gene expression of individual cells. This method can help answer key questions in the developmental biology field, such as what transcriptional changes do cells undergo during specification and differentiation. The main advantage of this technique is that it is an unbiased approach for revealing the heterogeneity that is masked in conventional population-based techniques. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because generating the viable preparations of single cells is technically challenging, but essential for downstream analysis. Once mastered processing the whole embryo samples into single lysed cells on an integrated microfluidics chip, can be completed in six hours if steps are performed properly. While attempting this procedure, it's important to remember to make sure that only single cells are captured on the microfluidic device. After breeding adult wild type and transgenic zebrafish, Collect embryos at 15-minute intervals according to facility and institution-approved standard operating procedures. At least two hours later, transfer 100 to 300 fertilized embryos from a single time point into a new petri dish containing fresh egg water and use fine forceps to manually remove the chorion from each embryo. Next. Use a wide bore glass pipette to transfer the embryos into a 2 milliliter microcentrifuge tube in a minimum volume of egg water. When all of the embryos